हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्राची कुलकर्णी फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट फोर्टी नाइन फर्टिलिटी सेंटर बंजारा हिल्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर अ कॉमनली आस क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज इज इट पॉसिबल टू हैव अ नॉर्मल डिलीवरी आफ्टर एन आईयूआई और आईवीएफ एक्सी सो कमिंग टू दी प्रोसीजर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी दैट इज हाउ यू कंसीव विच इज आई और आई so it is related only till the point where you are becoming pregnant beyond that point the pregnancy how it continues is it single pregnancy or is it a twin pregnancy is there a bleeding in pregnancy or are there any other factors which can complicate pregnancy like diabetes like hypertension or any other issues which are medical conditions or maybe surgical conditions so all these factors is going to affect how you can deliver so just doing an iui or doing an ivf xc does not make it impossible to have a normal delivery but your obstetrician or gynecologist who is looking after you in your pregnancy who is seeing your baby's growth who is monitoring you for all these conditions like diabetes and blood pressure and other issues like bleeding and all can guide you properly if you can have a normal delivery or not most of the times when the patients conceive with these treatments uh, the the age of the female is on the higher side so if uh, s- suppose somebody who's young like less than 30 years or something and conceive with these treatments and there are no complications in pregnancy absolutely normal growth of the baby uh, there is no problems with the ultrasound with the uh, fluid around the baby or the weight of the baby or color doppler of the baby if the pelvis is adequate the gynecologist or obstetrician will uh, do the examination at the end of 8th month and can guide you properly if you can go for a normal delivery if all of these things are fine then the doctor can tell you that you can go for a normal delivery also uh, when you are at maybe on the higher age side and these parameters are normal you can definitely try for a normal delivery but if your age is on the higher side where there might be some stiffness in the joints or even the pelvic floor is not um, not adequately stretchable if the baby's head doesn't get engaged in time or the baby is very big size or is there any problem around about the fluid around the baby or if there is any growth restriction any problem related to the growth of the baby any problem related to the blood flow going to the baby or uh, <clears throat> there might be fetal distress that is the problem with the heart rate of the baby or if you develop blood pressure or sugar during pregnancy then the best possible way to deliver the doctor can tell you if it is uh, safe for you and the baby both you may still consider going for a normal delivery if the risk uh, to the baby or to you is more in normal delivery then your doctor will guide you to have a elective cesarean section and there should not be any hesitation to go for a cesarean section if any issues which may affect the outcome of the pregnancy which is healthy mother and healthy baby so based on how your pregnancy starts as a singleton or twins are there any complications like bleeding episodes in pregnancy growth of the baby other medical conditions like blood pressure diabetes and the finally on the day of the 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 delivery day how other parameters are like how baby's heart beat is all those things will d- determine if you can have a normal delivery or not but definitely iui or ivf are not contraindications to have a normal delivery thank you so much